Hello everyone. I'm going to demonstrate how to do a simple beam analysis in ANSYS WebSense. For this, I choose a problem that is calculation of deflections and stresses in a cantilever of cross section, uh, circular cross section with the Panamam dia and ADMM length. When this is subjected to a load of 300 newton to the PM, the direction perpendicular to the length of the beam. This is a problem you can see here. Okay, let us go to answer structure. Now, here select static structure, drag and drop into the project. Let us take a uh, similar material is mentioned in the problem, and uh, let's take the default material that is given. I am taking the structural steel that is defined. You can see the material values here. Click on the geometry and the geometry. Let's take the design model to open. Now, click point. Well, here we have definition in this particular area. There is a details here. We can uh, select manual input, let all be zeros. Then right click on the point, say generate. We have a point generated. You can see a small black dot here. Our units are basically in mm. So click on units, select millimeter. Just click on this jump to fit. You can see the adjustment of the scale. Now again click point. Here again go to manual X coordinate make it as 80 mm. Right click on the point, say generate. You can see a second point that is generated. Just let us zoom this for now. You can see two points that are generated. Now before going to uh, the creation of a line, we need to have a cross section that is to be defined. So, for the concept cross section, our cross section is a circular cross section of Panaman dia, circular cross section. You can see that the circle is radius dimension. So, the radius should be 5. Now, click on the part bodies, then go to concept lines from points. Select and go to the point selection and with the control pressing control select both the points. Say apply. Right click on the line, say generate. Let us zoom in this area. Can see a small line that is created. Now, this one came as a line. There is no cross section that is assigned to this line body. So, I click on the cross section on the bottom arrow. Select this circular one which is the components. Now, your geometry is defined. Okay. Now, Close the design model. Go to model. Right click on the model. Edit. This will open the ANSYS mechanical. So wait for some time for it to open. Once it is open, where the tools for attaching the geometry to import the Material properties everything here. It is here in this region where you are going to perform all the meshing and as settings, assigning the material to geometry and uh, solving as well as obtaining the results. Now, here on the line body, select the line body. Well, the material you take 
have only one material that is the switcher series by default which is assigned to the series number and the set. Then go to mesh. Before going to mesh, go to view. If we click this thick shells and tapes. If it is stuck, it means that when you mesh it, you will see it as a solid model. Right click, say, right click on the mesh, the generate mesh. Now see, you can see the model generated as a solid. Supposing that this is not checked, that is in view, thick shells and wheels is not checked. So let's see how this effect will be able to see the more generated to the elements. Okay, now go to uh, we will now proceed to the application of loads and modifications. This is a cantilever, one end should be fixed. Let us fix this end, let us apply the 300 newtons load at this end. Go to static structure, we have got the loads. Well, before going to the loads, let us go to sub, uh, supports. Go to supports, fix at support. Select vertex selection here. So in the vertex, say apply. Now you can see that this particular node area on this particular face is fixed. Now, the, on this end, we have a force that is coming in the negative y direction. Let us say 300 newtons. So our problem with this 300 newton force went in the negative y direction. Here, yeah, the load of 300 newtons and the free end in the direction of the to the view. So, go to loads, go to force. Now, already it is pre selected, so the it turns out. Go to in the uh, definition force defined by components. In the y component, give it as minus 3 newtons. You can see the force that is applied in the downward direction. Now, you know. Define your uh, so uh, picture support. Uh, define your loadings and as well as support differences. Before solving, let us see what are all the things that we want. Let's try. let us say I want a deformation, total deformation. Yes. I click insert beam tool. Say beam tool. Here I want I also want the bending stress. So right click on the beam tool, insert beam tool stress. Go to Maximum bending stress. Okay. I also want the bending moment. So I'll click on the right click on the solution, insert beam results, bending. I want the shear force also. I'll go to insert beam results, shear force. Now uh, all the components that I want to extract are defined. Just on the solution, right click on the solution, say solve. Let's wait for the answers to solve this. Now, see here total deformation. When you click to the, uh, when you select this total deformation, you can see uh, uh, the uh, deformed shear here. You want a higher scale of deformation. The load is applied in the y direction only, and so the deformation is in y direction. The maximum is at the free end where the load is applied, zero at the fixed end. You can see here the bending moment 300 meters is applied uh, at the free end. The distance is 80 mm, so it should be before triple zero meter. You can also have the shear force here 300 newtons, so it's a shear force. Then the bending stresses, maximum bending stresses you can do on this. Okay, and combined stresses that is combined bending and then we have all the results now. I want to see these results uh, like when viewing the beam in a 
solid form. So what I'll do, I go to view, sections and beams. You can see okay, it has a point here. I want to take pictures of this. So what I'll do is, uh, I'll take so click on the button deformation and the stop. You can see the icon here. Click it, so insert figure. Then uh, uh, for uh, maximum learning stress also, I want them. So figure the total learning moment is one. Then click on the report. Page. You will get the report. Just click on the figure, we will see the figure that is here. Then figure here. You will see this. You can see the total bending unit here. And some bending stresses. You can export this uh, report. You will click on publish. You will have MHD file generated if you want an HTML file. You can have an HTML file. Can have a report page. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, press a like button. Uh, press a like. Write up the number of likes.